Hey guys, Zash here from C4 Tech and ColorOS 13 is headed our way soon with Oppo just releasing the roadmap for when and what devices are going to be receiving the update. Now in today's video, let's take a look at some of the top new changes, what all they've changed, what's new with ColorOS 13. Let's kick things off with where we usually start at with regards to software, the home screen. As you can see here, the app icons, they've been redesigned. They are in a way more recognizable. Now, icon redesigns are pretty much expected whenever a new software version drops. So let's now move on to the good stuff. Now guys, this is how home screens work, right? Say we have nine apps here. They're all Google, so I wanna organize safe space. I put them all into a folder. Now, instead of occupying nine tiles, they take up just one. But there is a downside. To access each of these apps, I'll need to tap the folder once, open it, and then launch the app itself. So we need that extra tap, but we also get to save eight tiles on the home screen. What if we wanted the best of both worlds, a kind of sorta in between? Now that's what Oppo offers here with ColorOS 13. Long press the folder, select enlarge folder, and now the folder takes up four tiles on your home screen instead of one, but you can launch these apps without having to actually open that folder up. Neat, right? On top of this, we get new widgets for the clock, weather, albums, Spotify. Oh yeah, Spotify integration is getting tighter. If you want, you can now have Spotify controls on your always on screen. Just look at it and it brings up the Spotify controls. It also displays Zomato and Swiggy delivery information quite the same way. With always on, we have some cosmetic changes to the presentation, the menu hierarchy. Now guys, you know how always on display, you know how it actually works, you know, it keeps the battery consumption low on OLED panels by turning off the pixels that do not need to be lit. Oppo's kind of pushed the envelope here, they've taken things one step further so that phones running ColorOS 13 that happen to utilize displays with LTPO technology, like the Find X5 Pro, the refresh rate on always on, it drops down to one hertz. So it's kind of gonna be more efficient than ever. Now, apart from this, you also get new animations. You can have your Bitmoji showing up here. There's also one featuring animals and nature. Oppo calls this Homeland. It calls attention to climate change and what small changes in temperatures could do to wildlife. Now, this is my favorite, something fun that's also informative. There's a new insights option that tracks how long you've been using your phone that day, as well as how many times you've unlocked it. So a little bit of digital well-being being sprinkled in here. Now talking about that, uh, we have the new Blossom wallpaper. So here you can set your target screen on time. Let's say you wanna keep your phone used to under three hours a day. Now every day, the Blossom wallpaper starts as a seed. It keeps growing and eventually withers and dies when you cross your target screen on time. So it's a nice little constant reminder as to if you've been overusing your phone. Okay, let's now get back to the home screen. Pull down and you can access shelf if you want to. The control center has received a facelift. The color palette, it's changed. The quick toggle icons are larger. Instead of getting six, you get five with two larger ones to the top. And these two, Wi-Fi and data here, it doesn't actually have to be Wi-Fi and data. It can be changed to whatever quick toggle you wanna use the most, whatever is most convenient to you. And you can also control IoT devices from here. I do love how the quick toggles kind of realign for when you're doing something in landscape, say watching a video or playing a game. This is what ColorOS 12.1 would do in this case. 13 handles landscape mode a lot more elegantly. Jumping into settings, you can see that we get a car desk separation of categories. It keeps things more organized. This card style design is not restricted to just the settings menu. Go into say calculator or recorder. The design language change, it's pretty much universal here. The font is also something new. The text is thicker and hence easier to read. Next up, we have meeting assistant. Now Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams. These days we find ourselves using these apps more and more. And with Oppo's meeting assistant, if you're in a meeting, the phone would prioritize sending data packets for that. So say you just hit download on a game, but then had to jump into a Zoom call, the Zoom call is gonna be prioritized and the game downloading in the background is not gonna cause your call quality to suffer. Additionally, when you're in a meeting, notifications are simplified and not quite as distracting as they usually are. Moving on, you remember Omoji, so Oppo's cartoony floating heads. Well, you can now use them to personalize your contacts. So you can have something like this for when you receive a call. 
Now, if you wanna take a screenshot of a conversation that you're having with someone, Color OS 13 introduces a new auto pixelate function that will let you blur out avatars, nicknames, etc. So as you see here with WhatsApp, my name and picture have been blurred out automatically the moment I hit auto pixelate. Then we get to multi-screen connect. We just saw this on my Reno 8 Pro video. This has also been refreshed with some tweaks under the hood as has private safe and actually the whole interface. Everything feels a tad more responsive and snappier, again, because of the under the hood changes they've brought about with ColorOS 13. And this seems quite interesting and we are gonna see this software in one way, shape or form on many phones this year, given all the interfaces that ColorOS shares its code, code base with. So what do you think of ColorOS 13? Leave a comment down below and while you're down there, Thumbs up, thumbs down, based on whatever you felt about this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching, thanks for your time. Until next time, my name's Ash, you've been watching C4ETech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.